Onward had its eyes set on a hundred million dollar global start, even with the beer virus going around. I didn't think it was going to make that much, and it looks like I was right. Ladies and gentlemen, hiss and foes, welcome to the Culture Casino! Headed into this weekend's opening of the new Pixar Disney film Onward, I had my reservations about the box office projections, and I had them for quite some time now. The uh, lofty numbers that were being tossed around, like 105 million, looked incredibly optimistic to me. I thought a $50 million domestic opening looked even pie in the sky. So I guess I can see why some industry folks would look at those numbers and say, yeah, sure, Disney's bulletproof when it comes to animation, uh, especially Pixar. Um, but to me, the film was like a 2.8 to a maybe a 3 out of 5 at best. And the animation style looked like they'd just gone and hired everybody at DreamWorks. And the pacing was a complete mess. Uh, the story was the film's best asset outside of the wonderful voice acting done by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt and that's really the standout of, of the film um, as I said in my film review a, a few days ago it's it, the movie was just kind of meh and the uh, throwaway line that was uh, thrown in there for the diversity crowd wasn't really going to offend uh, anyone it was just simply pandering um, the only thing it might do is create some uh, uncomfortable conversations for the younger members of the audience uh, with their parents. Uh, maybe the parents aren't ready to have that discussion yet. So one of the first challenges of this film, uh, when you look at it from outside, may have been the organized movement One Million Moms. Um, while I'm sure when you look at it from the outside, uh, this film has one element that goes against their traditional values, but it's very possible that the grab your pearls moment that was exactly 10 seconds long uh, would have been missed by most people for the most part, or even largely ignored. So, the film itself has been pulled back a few weeks uh, in some markets because of, uh, well, to allow for the bulk of the... Uh, beer virus concerns to pass none of these things uh though should have affected the north american turnout so why was this weekend's box office earnings so low and that question only gets more traction when you consider that the uh, reported weekend numbers included a special screening done on saturday february 28th along with the thursday numbers which totaled two million dollars uh, so essentially, this is a five-day total, and it's very low indeed. Um, CV isn't really keeping many people from their daily activities, uh, while some larger events have been canceled or postponed, uh, South by Southwest, for example. Um, people are still traveling. They're still consuming entertainment. For example, uh, spring training is still drawing crowds um, in the warmer states and theme parks uh, you know, on both coasts and throughout the rest of the country are still open. So this kind of points towards a simple fact that the movie didn't find an audience. Either that or people were electing to vote with their wallets, which is a trend that is starting to pick up momentum. Uh, Deadline has been attempting to carry the water for this film for a really long time. Uh, they've started to soften the ground about lower box office expectations just a few days ago. And today they realize that the numbers weren't going to pick or I should say weren't going to tick upward so they started to write a story of disappointment and mix in a little hope um, I always look at Deadline and Variety uh, as the industry trade papers that they are their job is to half shill and half promote so at the same time though 
if they're striving for relevance in the real world, uh, perhaps they should go searching for ways to be more intellectually honest. They can guide the industry uh, back to sanity, maybe. Um, regardless, how do you feel about this 30 to $40 million underperformance of Pixar's Unward? Uh, Onward, excuse me. Do you think that it was the beer virus or alphabet related or just an audience that said no? I look forward to interacting with you in the comments below. Uh, thanks for sharing a few minutes here today. I really appreciate your time. Just take a few more seconds for me and hit the subscribe button along with the little bell icon so you know whenever a new video gets posted. Also, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you all had a great day. Uh, and that's straight from the heart. And no matter where you are, it should be a good day. And uh, remember, at Culture Casino, when the house wins, we all win.